A white picket fence house. It is every American's dream to have a white picket fence house. So it is mine. But in 2009, with the global financial crisis and all these foreclosures in my neighborhood, all my colleagues being out of jobs, I wonder if this would ever happen. Some 22 years ago, when I bought my townhouse, I also got this painting to remind me that someday I too will have a beautiful house with white picket fences. Hello, I'm Bruce Rasman, and just like you, I also have a dream of someday having a white picket house. But it seems like today, on November 5th, with more than 10% unemployment and many of my colleagues and friends out of a job, that dream for the first time in this next generation of Americans is becoming impossible. Yet, you know, no white picket fence houses? Hell no, we can do that. We need better management. We need CEOs that do not cut the workforce on a knee-jerk reaction the minute the market goes down by 2% or one. With uh, corporations and CEOs deciding to resist massive and frequent layoffs, we can do it. We can do better. The situation we have right now is lose-lose. Banks are losing money when homes go into foreclosure. People are losing their houses and homelessness is increasing and unemployment is increasing. So th this is not a really good thing to have. What, hey, I'm 60 years old and I still expect to get my white picket fence house. I want to have the same thing for the next generation. America has big resources, gold, everything else. But most important thing is the Americans and our intellectual ability, our know-how, our ability to reinvent, create. Hey, the government has done anything they could. And now is the corporations, CEOs, board of directors, and more importantly is the consumer and is the employee to work together. We, we need to do teamwork. We want to create better results and with better productivity. That white picket fence house will be yours and mine. Not some property that the bank can't liquidate. it. Let's go for it. Thank you. Generally everybody thinks that the banks giving free loans is the problem that caused the global financial crisis, but I don't believe it because we had another financial crisis not as big in mid-80s uh, and uh, then the dot-com bust hit us. And the reason we are in a mess we are right now with the global financial crisis is that there has been consistent mismanagement some 30-40 years now. Frequent and massive layoffs kill mutual trust and loyalty between the company and the employees and between the company and customers. It, in a way, damages the brand name recognition intensively. So layoffs are not an option. So if management reinvented itself, if you managed better, and if employees were more qualified, better educated, we could not only save that $2.4 trillion in terms of productivity loss, but we can do a lot better. We can create a lot more job satisfaction. And of course, that productivity loss of $2.4 trillion is now close to $10 trillion because the unemployment is close to 10%. But we could create a win-win situation, teamwork. These are all tried and known working ways. Let's go. Well, I'm sorry about the quality of this video, grim pictures at the beginning and everything else. Well, I'm not much of a videographer. My assistant, my daughter, is doing the best we can. But we hope that we conveyed the point to you. We can do a lot better, and we can have our white picket fence houses.